Would you like a spot of tea? I love tea, yes, I would love a spot excellent, of tea. Excellent, excellent. Plastic tea bag. Uh, what? Plastic tea bag. No, why would I want plastic in my tea? Oh, because most tea bags, fancy tea bags are made of plastic. No plastic? No plastic. Ah! Huh. Ginger or turmeric then? Um, turmeric ginger, please. Yes, of course. How do I know that my turmeric ginger tea doesn't have plastic in it? Ah, oh, but it's made from wood pulp. It's a parent. Is it a parent? It's a parent. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Thank you, I will. Plastic or not too plastic? That is the question. Well, that was interesting. I'm your Minna Van Dyken, MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain optimum health, largely by adopting a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. Today, I wanna to address microplastics that are everywhere in our life. But namely, I wanna talk about an article that came out recently discussing microplastics in certain types of tea bags. It's no secret that I love tea. I absolutely love it. Imagine my surprise when I discovered that some teas I enjoy may be polluted by plastic. Yep, you heard that correctly. Plastic is getting into everything. So today, let's take some time to talk about microplastics, specifically microplastics leaching from your tea bags. There was a paper published recently by a group of researchers at McGill University in Quebec, Canada, which clearly outlined the extent of the problem. It's no secret that plastics are used worldwide, and this disposal of them is becoming a widespread environmental problem. Plastics from many consumer goods can break down into microplastics and nanoplastics. From here, they can easily get into everything we touch, we eat, and we breathe. These micro and nano-sized plastics get into our soils, our waterways, and eventually our food. Tap water and bottled water alike have been shown to be contaminated with plastic microparticles. Microplastics have even been found to contaminate the beer we drink. Several studies have reported the presence of micro and nanoplastics in fish. One study reported that 36%, that's over one third of randomly sampled fish, both pelagic and demersal in the English Channel, were found to contain microplastics. Another study found microplastics in mussels. Plastic is commonly used in food packaging, so this is another way that it can get into our food supply. One recent study even detected significant concentrations of microplastics in regular old table salt. So what does it have to do with tea bags? Well, many of the new luxury tea bags come in these fancy bags. You know the type, silky nylon ones that are folded into fancy sachets. Sometimes they're shaped like a pyramid. These are plastic tea bags, a clear shift from the traditional paper tea bags. The process of tea involves pouring hot, boiling water over the tea bag and steeping the tea bag by letting it sit in the hot water for a few minutes. Here's the problem. Plastic, specifically food grade plastic, has been shown to degrade or leach toxic substances when heated above 40 degrees Celsius. Tap water is around 95 degrees Celsius, so basically you're guaranteeing plastic leach. So, can we prove this? Well, let's take a look at that research study I alluded to earlier. Researchers looked at four different commercial loose leaf teas that happened to be packaged in plastic tea bags. These tea bags were cut open and the tea was dumped out. Empty plastic tea bags were steeped in reverse osmosis water for five minutes at 95 degrees Celsius. The water was then analyzed for microplastics using electron microscopy. What do you think they found? Well, they found that plastic tea bags and the associated water contained micro and nanoplastics. In addition, they found that the water contained several metalloids like arsenic, aluminum, lead, and chromium. Yum. Then they took these plastics and found that they had effects in aquatic animal species they were studying, Daphnia magna. They found that Daphnia magna had erratic morphology or shape and swimming behavior, which was not good news. 
One of the main potential human exposure pathways of micro and nanoplastics is likely via ingestion by eating or drinking said microplastics. Once in the GI tract, these plastics are so small they can be taken up into cells and travel between cells. Translocation of different types of microplastics has been demonstrated in multiple mammal models like rodents, rabbits, and dogs. So it's reasonable to conclude that this also occurs with microplastics in humans. Once translocated, these micro and nanoplastics could cause toxicity, apoptosis, and necrosis, which could lead to tissue damage, fibrosis, and even cancer formation. There's only one study to date that looked at micro and nanoplastic particles in human cells. The study showed that reactive oxygen species were generated in cerebral and epithelial human cell lines. So what can we take away from that? Well, tea bags, especially the fancy nylon ones with the pretty little sachets contain microplastics, which leach into our tea water as the tea steeps. We then end up ingesting these microplastics when we drink the tea. We don't really know the health effects of consuming micro and nanoplastics, but changes in organisms like algae, zooplankton, fish, and mice have been observed. This could be an early warning of possible human health risk. For me, I'm gonna stay away from those fancy tea bags. The old fashioned biodegradable paper bags are good enough for me. Look for tea that advertises compostable or biodegradable tea bags. Or better yet, use a metal tea egg, a French press, or another classic tea brewing solution. Well, that's a wrap. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something valuable and applicable to your individual health journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to show us some real support, subscribe. We love hearing from you, so please let us know in the comments below your ideas, your thoughts, and things you want to hear about in upcoming videos. Until next time, everybody. Aloha. Warmer for your tea, Mom. Warmer. I, I would love a warmer for my biodegradable tea.